Hi, this is Vince Palco from VincePalco.com and today I want to talk to you about a topic that is driving me crazy. Sometimes you'll hear parents when they're dealing with their kids tell their kids after a loss, after any kind of athletic event, hey, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Don't worry. It's okay. This absolutely pisses me off. Because when you look at a child, when you look at a child and you look into their eyes, the little eyes of these winners and champions, you find out it's not okay to lose. No one likes to lose, yet we're raising a group, a nation of losers. I was up the street actually at a, a skating lesson for my daughter the other week. Ran into some neighbors. Their kid was there. She was getting ready to play soccer. And as we finished up the conversation, I said, Hey, go out and get. let's get that win today. And the parents quickly, quickly kind of corrected me and said, No, let's go out and have fun today. What is wrong with going out and trying to win and teach our kids to win? There's nothing wrong with that. I know of no better way to have fun in sports than to win. And to keep winning. That's the only way you have fun. Why do people say that? Don't be the best. Don't be the best. It's not important. Just go out there and have fun. What do you think made America what it is today? The fact that you had the Graham Bells, the Edisons, the people that went out and surging forward, surging ahead and trying countless times countless times to go and create something and win. My father never played an ounce of sports. He never sweat a drop of sweat playing any kind of sports. Yet he was wise, wise beyond his years. And his, his not knowing uh, of athletics and how to coach and all this stuff was the best thing that he could have going for him while he raised me and my brothers. But Dad always, he had a general understanding for how to handle little Vincent after a loss. He never said, you know, son, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. Forget about it. Focus on this. Focus on that. Bull crap. What he said was simple. And what he said was nothing. He gave me my space. He gave me time to sit and soak. See, most parents think that a kid doesn't know what they did wrong. And I say this is bull crap. A kid, the values of a child are instilled in them by age four or five. The same is true for the 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 things that they need to do in order to be successful, in order to win. See, whenever I'd lost, I get whenever I lost at something, I would get super pissed off. And I wouldn't talk. And yeah, I might beat myself up a little bit, but that was the time I needed to sit and soak and reflect on what I did wrong. I didn't need anyone saying, you know what? You let the team down by doing X, Y, and Z. You know, if you would have kept up a little bit in this area, you know, maybe you would have done a little better. Bullshit. I didn't need any of that crap. I knew what I did wrong. And Dad was perfect for this. He let me grieve. He let me be in that spirit of loss without trying to offer one bit of advice, without saying you needed to do this, and maybe next time try and do this a little better. He gave me space. So, you want the answer? You want the answer when your son or daughter goes and competes and they lose and, and uh, they don't feel very good? You let them sit there and soak up that feeling of being a loser. And as they sit and soak up that energy and they get that nasty taste in their mouth, by trying to like change it or get it out of their system, you're not doing them any good. Let them sit there and be in that. 
so that they themselves can decide they don't want that anymore. And they're going to try harder next time. And they're going to give it everything they got. And they are going to do their level best from here on out. My daughter Sophia can't stand to lose. She's the sorest loser on the planet. And the only time she ever gets even sore or sore and more nasty is when her younger sister beats her at a board game or any kind of event where they're competing. Guess what daddy does? Daddy just sits back and he grins and he laughs and he chuckles to himself. You know why? Because he can see the seed of a champion forming within her. He can see that she can't stand to lose. She doesn't like that taste in her mouth. And guess what? That's the best thing for her. That's the best thing for her to have in her life so she never experiences it again. Now sure, there'll be times when you lose here and there. But this philosophy, my belief, and my approach has led me to eight championships in a football career. I've never been on a losing team. I've been a leader, captain countless times at all different levels. Okay? So what you need to realize today, and let me reiterate, let your child be in that state of mind. Give them space. Give them time away. If they kick over things, if they throw things, I mean, within reason, let them do what they need to do to get it out of their system. Because it's not natural to lose. We are put on this earth to win. And to win big. And like in the mortal words of Vince Lombardi, winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. Thank you very much. This is Vince Palco from VincePalco.com.